There's one guy, he's like coconut this, coconut that. Let's let's fry up some coconut in some coconut oil and put it in a bloody coconut. My God, and I tell him I don't like the consistency. He says, uh, no, no, sir. It consists only of pure coconut. No artificial fertilizers or anything like that. I grew it, I got it specially from my grandmother's house. Oh, bloody hell. He's just so angry all the time. I mean, friendlier creatures in the wild. She reminds me, have I told you about how I met my friend Steve the Alligator? It's a funny story actually. I was walking by this river, and then all of a sudden, right out of the water, this giant alligator jumps right out, right out at me. And I, just, I step to the side, I've gotten a headlock, with thrashing about in the mud. It's, it's a beauty of an animal. And we're just thrashing around, struggling around, just general Tom Fury. And then I just hold it right there, hold it by its neck, and I whisper in its ear, I say, well, none of us has to die this night, crocodile. Well, I, you see, I knew it wasn't a crocodile, I knew it was an alligator, but I was playing psychological games with him now, you see? It's like how I call my friend Adish, Betty Lou or Susan, I call him a girl's name, so I, I call him a crocodile, so now I've got that hand, right? So anyway, we struggle, we're rolling about in the mud, and then the next thing you know, we've got some shrimp on the barbie, we've got a couple of fosters, uh, a couple of pints of fosters out, and we're on the way to becoming best mates for life. This guy? Nah, nothing like that. He's an, he's an animal. 